It's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we've got a very special beer. I believe it's very special because um, it's called a Lemoncello, Lemoncello IPA. Now it's 9.1% ABV. And first off, let me touch on this. I think it's 9.1% ABV for a reason. I think you're gonna need a little kick of alcohol with this beer. The reason being is that um, I, I got family in Italy and we, we drink the Lemoncello, 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 they, they're kind of Italian style lemon liqueur style drink. And it's usually about 15 to 20% ABV. And it's obviously got loads of lemon in and, and it's, I think it's based on either rum or vodka, I believe. It's very nice, but it's very kind of overpowering with lemon. So, with that lemonness, you're going to want a little kind of touch of an alcohol kind of taste, I believe, with this beer. So it's been brewed by Siren Craft Brew. Uh, Mikola has got involved. And Hill Farmstead out in America. And they say they, they absolutely hop this beer to the bucket load. Um, so they add a lot of hops during the brew and then they kind of late hop it or dry hopper at the end with bucket loads of hops they say just to try and get that kind of hoppy bitterness just to give that IPA sense to the beer so without further ado there's the bottle cap let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get nice bit of smoke on the opening and of course with lemon cello being a liqueur it's got that lovely creamy milk based mouthfeel to it. This won't have that. This is just had, had I, I believe a bucket load of lemons added. We'll, we'll get into the description later on. But anyway, let's show you this beer. It's a one finger white head. It's a lovely golden colored ale. Nice kind of slow moving carbonation with a it's either bits of lemon floating around in the glass or it's a little bit of yeast I'm gonna take the first guess there you go and I'm gonna say that's that's your lemon floating around in the glass so aroma And as I suspected, you're getting a little touch of alcohol. And I think that is so important for this beer. I think if this beer was brewed at 6% ABV, it just wouldn't have worked. You need to have a sense that it's an alcoholic drink because lemon is so overpowering and so are American hops. They're so kind of citrusy and lemony and, and kind of almost overpowering. So. It had to be a big 9.1% ABV. It's very tart. It's very grapefruity. In all respect to the hops, the hops are, are doing a good battle here. They're, they're, they're fighting their own corner to say that, yes, this is an IPA. You do get that sense. But you also get a sense of that lemon cello, that, that lemon cello drink. It's really intriguing. I've got to dive into this one. Cheers. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. She's a sharp one. Um, wow, blimey. You imagine biting into a lemon. What ingredient would you add to that lemon? Kind of, kind of spike it in to get any other taste rather than lemon out of that lemon. And that's the battle, that's the, that's the problem that these guys have faced. And 
what is occurring with craft brewing is finding a problem and getting around it and and finding solutions to just that lemon taste the first taste was massively overwhelming it was it was massively lemony but i did get a sense of the hops so i'm just going to battle through this beer and work it out and try and pull some flavors for you So first of all, it's carbonated like a beer. It's got lovely carbonation to the beer. It's nice and sweet. It's very sweet. It's a little bit malty. And <laughs> it's it's massively, massively lemony. And still you're getting vitamin C. And then you get that dryness. You know that dryness from a lemon? You get that all at the top of your palate. And fighting this way, fighting this way in the background is the hops. And it's doing this. It's just hitting the side of the lemon. And it's hitting the side of the lemon enough to be able to punch through it a little bit. And give that, that hoppy bitterness. And that slightly... Grapefruity, a little bit of mango, and this is going to sound strange, but a little bit of lemon. Because you know it's there from the bitterness, from your mind, from being a beer reviewer. You know it's going to give off that lemon taste and aroma in that beer, even though there's an actual lemon juice added. And that's the battle. It's a big battle. And I think let me break this review down into two simple terms a casual drinker walks into a store he's drunk carling all his life fosters heineken he picks up a bottle of this off the shelf and he goes right okay uh lemon cello ipa um, i've had lemon cello in italy i'm gonna try it because i like lemon cello and He's going to read on the back that it's a beer. And he's going to crack this beer open. And he's going to say, Blimey, what on earth is that? 9.1% ABV. He's reluctant to throw it down the drain because none of us throw stuff down the drain unless it's infected, let's be honest. And our taste buds normally let us know when something's infected. So he battles through and he drinks it. And at the end of the drink he says, I will never buy that beer again. And then, going back to the same scenario, you have not necessarily a beer reviewer or a beer connoisseur, but you get somebody who knows their beer. They might be an ex-brewer, they might be a brewer. Um... And they might pick this up, they might work behind the, uh, the bar of a craft brewery or a craft bar where they bring in bottles and they enjoy their stuff. And they might ask the question, actually, I want to try this because it's interesting. I think they'll say to themselves after they've drunk it, it was a blooming good effort. It was a blooming good effort. But essentially, the lemon cell of that lemon, that big, bold lemon oh. flavour just took over. It just won the day. So, on the, on the case of the reviewer, or the, or, or the barman, or the brewer who's picked this up, I'm going to say well done to Siren 
for making the effort of actually adding lemon to a beer because it's such a overpowering flavor so hill farm said mckellar siren craft brew well done on on trying to achieve the almost unachievable i think you did a good job it's very tart very very lemony and it's kind of slightly IPA-ish. So, all I can say really is thank you for tackling the issue of this because, because adding lemon to this magnitude is just amazing. Um, personally, would I buy it again? No, I wouldn't. In all honesty, I wouldn't buy it again. So for that reason, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. But I'm giving it a 7 out of 10 on the fact that people have tried something different and that is what craft beer is all about thanks for watching put your comments in the comments box please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers